I was recently asked by Airsoft Revolution 15 to stop by their arena in San Antonio so we could have a discussion, and before I knew it, the cameras were on and the doors were locked for the Air 15 Milsim interview. Now there's going to be a lot of discussion in this video over future plans for Air 15, so if you don't like this type of video, then you can go ahead and skip it until the gameplay I'm working on now goes up for you guys to enjoy. But if you'd like to stay, then be sure to comment on what you hear today in the comments section down below. Raptor and AR-15 Milsim to me is a start for the new beginning. It's a way to open up and get airsofters in the San Antonio and local surrounding areas to get started and for us to have a chance to start and get as big as the East and the West Coast. I'm Cake and what AR-15 Milsim to me, means to me is a start for new players to get into the sport, uh, veterans to get into the sport and help the new players like what we've been doing at AR-15 for a long time and it's just a great way to get the South, Ten South Central and Central Texas community together. Uh, hello, I'm Andon from Andon Airsoft and Air 15 Milson to me is a chance to have our brand new beginning for our brand new airsoft players we just established here in San Antonio and I want to make sure they have a really good experience when it comes to big ops like uh, what we're about to plan for the future. Hey, it's like with Air 15. And BB Diva. Air 15 uh, Milsim to us is the next level of AR-15 and the AR-15 family. It's us giving back to the community, uh, not just CQB, but also to our outdoor players and to give you guys the experience for Milsim in San Antonio. So making San Antonio the hub for Milsim uh, ops now for the next coming years. It also gives players opportunities to actually go to ops. So we're going to try to keep it as much as we can here locally so people don't have to drive out miles to go to an op. We want to make it affordable where you don't have to go out and buy lots of new merchandise to participate in the op. So you bring what you have and we will put you in a team and we will like a partner. AR-15 Milsim is different than any other Milsim due to the fact that we have non-stop action every time that you're there. There's not going to be any waiting around or wondering what's next. We're just going to give it to you straight up and it's not going to be your stereotypical force on force or capture the flag style games. AR-15 is not your typical event host. They don't do just capture the flag or, hold, or attack and defend. They do direct action. They keep you in the fight. They keep you on your toes and they keep you on a swivel and they don't just say, hey, let's just sit and hold and Waste your money just doing guard duty. That's it. Yay. Uh, why, is, why is AR-15 Milsim different from any other place? Uh, because we don't run your typical capture the flag in our regular CQB arena. So why would we carry that tradition? Why not carry that tradition over to our Milsim ops? So basically we're taking our indoor CQB out to a bigger scale where we're continuously running. We have movie movement, excitement. Um, they're not pre-planning, but they're kind of meditating on what could happen and how everything plays out. A lot of the questions I got from going to the other ops is, uh, how come we don't know what's going on? Uh, you know, usually it's, go do this, go do that. Um, and the players don't really get to know, you know, the entirety of the planning and all that stuff. So with us, everybody will get debriefed after every uh, block of missions that you'll be issued. And our, again, our styles are very much different than, hey, let's all reform after every mission's done back at HQ. Airsoft Revolution 15 Milsim is different from any other Milsim because we've already got a set strategy in play for how we're going to have the Milsim go. Also, we have three factions, the primary factions, are the two factions that will be going at it and a gray faction more or less. Uh, it's going to be a lot more action in this than many folks are probably going to be expecting from it and I think it's going to be really exciting for anyone who wants to come and join us. To make this fun, um, it's airsoft. It's Milsim but it's still airsoft. So again, I mean it's four hour blocks. 
So you have four hour blocks of four different missions. Every mission, every hour on the hour, you'll get a second mission. And a lot of fields, a lot of milsim organizations get away from the actual mission, the objective. Uh, our CQB arena is very objective oriented and you will be awarded for achieving the objectives. Not just to winning the op, but you get perks to help you on the next mission. So what I'm gonna do to make this fun is pretty much get the whole community involved. So we're gonna have, you know, the simple, easy stuff going on as far as, you know, you just came in, found out what Airsoft is, bought your first gun, you're able to still go to this Milsim office and still have fun. But you know those hardcore mill sim. I've been in there for eight years. Got this cry precision stuff. They're able to have fun <laughs> as well too. Uh, <laughs> you know, so it's 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 a game for everybody. Uh, essentially, what it is. It doesn't matter what kind of experience you have. So we run games in time blocks. So you know when it's gonna start, when it's gonna end. But it's still long enough to know you're deep in there, but still short enough to actually take a break from it. You know. Not everybody can handle four-hour blocks or three-hour blocks, so we give you an opportunity to take a break. Well, what I'm going to do to make this fun is I'm going to manipulate the field in the way that I can with my faction to give folks a little more action. There are things that I will be responsible for throwing into the action that will help to steer the gameplay in one way or another. What am I going to do to make AR-15 fun? What am I going to do to make AR-15 fun? I'll show you what I'm going to do to make AR-15 fun. Well, as the commander of the Federation forces, everything's great on paper, but as soon as we get boots on ground, that just all goes to crap. Someone's going to do whatever it takes to win, and that includes me getting a couple of people upset, so be it. I'm going to win. As a question as far as are we in competition with anyone, we're trying to bring the community more closer together. You know, as far as our sponsors, right now we got Third Coast, uh, Mission Airsoft, we got Lion Claws on board. And what was the last one? Index Milson. Index Milson. This is friendly competition. Uh, friendly competition as in Third Coast Airsoft and AR-15 Milson. We're going to be doing a super op in 2016, which means that both organizations are coming together, and we're going to do one giant op, bringing our people, they're bringing their people, we're bringing our style, they're bringing their style, and we're going to make something unique happen. Uh, Index Milsim, they're also a sponsor of AR-15 Milsim. We've been sponsors for them as a field and now as an organization. You know, they're in big support. Lion Claws, they're also in support with AR-15 Milsim. That speaks a lot. It speaks volumes. I think, uh, you know, everybody really bringing Airsoft, you know, up as one. Instead of saying that we're a competition, no. So another thing that AR-15 Muslim is about is not just expanding the community, but building a new one. We've been doing that for the last year, and once AR-15 Muslim kicks off, you're about to see another monster grow. So from our family to yours, live the game. Live the game. Live the game! Live the game! Live the game. Live the game. Live the game. Airsoft and AR-15 Milsim. Stop. You don't, stop. You, yeah. Yeah. You, don't, you don't break. You don't start with the voice crack. Hi. Okay. I'm going to bottle of water. I'm on the YouTube channel. So be it. I'm going to win. That's it. Is that is that good? That works. Does that work? Okay. Yeah. I know how you didn't know. No, no, I saw. I saw. I, you have okay. no idea how hard I tried not to look or laugh. Okay. Last thing. Yeah, we are totally like black. Wow. Can you hold that light? Like AR-15 milsim is different than any other milsim. <laughs> like, wait, wait. He's, he's, he's like, looking at the camera. <laughs> AR-15 milsim is different than any other milsim. <laughs> he's trying to laugh. So hard not to laugh. Bite like, your tongue. <laughs> Bite your tongue if you need to. We're not talkers. We're doers. I'll do that. I'm hungry. <laughs>
Yes, Buffy. Hey, you can suit Buffy. up and get shot. The rest I have of arroz con leche. Buffy, you know arroz con leche? I have a Mexican mother that looks like Danny Trejo. Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you need to go camera for that one, right? 